Yeah, Macintosh was born in 1868 in Glasgow in the town head area and he's very much uh, a creative genius, he's very much now getting celebrated around the world from his architecture, his design and his art and with the group The Four, his wife Margaret and Herbert McNair and um, Margaret's sister, they very much created a, a unique creation within Glasgow and now their Macintosh has been lauded similar to Gaudi in Barcelona and Frank Lloyd Wright in Chicago. Macintosh uh, 100 has really been kick-started in April this year and running through towards the end of the year linking with uh, Homecoming Scotland. It's very much working around uh, and linking in with celebrating Glasgow School of Arts um, completion in 1909 which will then kick-start their celebrations. There'll be tours, there'll be exhibitions, there'll be talks and we're also launching a new Macintosh bus tour which is will link the Macintosh buildings around Glasgow which uh, again will add to the experience um, and these are all linking with events at the Hunterian, Kelvin Grove, the Macintosh Church uh, and other Macintosh buildings around the city. I think no matter how knowledgeable you are you, you see new things in his creative genius and there's a variety of things whether it's furniture or the classic arts, his furniture's timeless, I think that's something unique where it appears in films like Blade Runner and Star Trek and I think that's quite amazing and people use it as a sometimes a social statement. I think even Stephen Polyakov used it in a recent film Friends and Crocodiles and it's quite interesting to see how Macintosh's work has been used in these fields.